Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Sarah Eisen. Take a look at the financials, one of just two sectors in the green Tuesday. This as Treasury yields rise across the board. Let's bring in the Trading Nation team for the trade. Ari Wald is with Oppenheimer. Stacey Gilbert is with Susquehanna. Ari, why are you bullish on this sector? I think the key point, Sarah, is that if you look at weakness uh, since January, it's all occurred above the sector's rising 200-day moving average. So we're still making the case that this is a pullback in an ongoing uptrend and that the uptrend should ultimately uh, continue higher. Uh, the key uh, level on the downside here is, is 2660. These were the lows that have been put in place uh, over the last month. We think a double bottom is, is forming here. Now, the spider still has to get through 2835 resistance. That's the intervening peak. But again, given the rising trend, we think that's the trade. We think you get the breakout to the upside. And yet, Stacy, the reception to earnings was less than enthusiastic. You still have that flattening yield curve to worry about. How do banks look to you? Yeah, I would say, Sarah, you're absolutely right. Those are some of the key concerns. I mean, this this was the fan favorite once Trump won the election. You assumed that there would be great deregulation. You assumed that the yield curve was going to be steepening. You thought the economy was going to be growing. There'd be a ton of loan growth, all very positives for financials. And financials responded. They have outperformed the S&P by more than 10 percent. Interestingly, on the ETF side of financials, you've seen AUM in U.S. financial sector specific ETFs. These are unlevered. These are not inverse. This is just long kind of long only passive indices within the ETF space grow by 50 percent to have about 63 billion of assets under management at this point. This was definitely a much loved sector. But to Ari's point, I think we're right here. We continue to see bullish sentiment in the options, in the individual stocks. Investors are taking this as an opportunity mm. to position for further upside. So reading the tea leaves through the options market, they do agree with the charts here that we are probably going to see more upside. All right. Bullish from, bo from both of you on the banks. Thank you very much, Ari and Stacey. Good to see you. And thank you all for watching Trading Nation. I'm Sarah Eisen. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.